Hi everyone, Agnes here and this is the second part in the little series of five parts. Now today I'm going to go through the four steps to help you with more pinpointed manifesting and then I'm going to give you the example today at the end of this YouTube of a brand new relationship. Step one, get clear about what you want. The universe loves clarity. So what is it that you would like in a brand new relationship? Perhaps sit down and write down the qualities of the person. Write down what you would share together as in hobbies, activities, and what you would do on a weekly basis, as in the ordinary things, such as watching movies, having a meal together, sleeping together in the same bed, enjoying breakfast, or it might be going out dancing or going out to have a wonderful night at the theatre or at a rock concert or watching a tennis match. Put down as many details as you can that are really important to you, things that are clear and specific to what you would enjoy. Now, number two, an imaginal scene. So with the things that you've written down in step one, it is about creating a short imaginal scene and that imaginal scene can be perhaps two or three things on a loop, meaning that you go through the first thing, the second thing, the third thing and then you might do a bit of breathing in and out and then start again with the first thing, the second thing and the third thing. So again, at the end of this YouTube, I'm going to go through these in more detail for you as in an example so you can follow it. Now, number three, gratitude. Now, if you had this brand new, wonderful relationship, what would you be grateful for? So it's again running through these things. And using your question one, that you got clear about what you wanted, now you bring it in as gratitude, as in I'm happy and grateful now that. Now, again, I will go through this at the end in more detail, as in an example of it. Number four, surrender and trust. So you're going to surrender your desire to source God, the universe, and you're going to trust that it will manifest. Now, surrender, I think, is about saying, I surrender, I let go, and I trust, and just becoming much more calm in your energy, much more relaxed in your being, much more, I'm okay right now without this, and I know that me being calm and secure and satisfied that's going to help me get to where I want to go. So you're letting go of dissatisfaction. You're letting go of distrust. You're letting go of anxiety, fear. How's it going to happen? When's it going to happen? Okay, so that's the little uh, four-step process. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to use the example in more detail to show you the mechanics of how to do this. So if you want to sit down and do this with me and then you can pause the recording and then you can get clear about it as we're talking about it together. So brand new relationship, getting clear, some things to think about. And I think it's looking at the character traits. Often when we've had relationships before, certain things we didn't like, that can help you to really get tight and clear about what you do want this time around. So say, for example, you were in a relationship with an addict 
and that person put their addiction first and you felt second best and not good enough, then this time around, you would get clear that you would love to be with someone who really takes care of themselves and has a healthy lifestyle. So that's something you can write down. And if you had someone that you went out with and they just loved to sit at home and watch TV and they were pretty lazy, now nothing wrong with watching TV, but if you're doing that all day every day, that's not really exciting to be in a relationship with. So you might say, okay, I didn't really like that. So this time around, I'd really like someone that we watch a movie on a Saturday night together or a Friday night after work, but during the week after work, if we have time, we're going to cook together and we're going to set the table beautifully and light some candles and then we're going to enjoy putting on some lovely music and talking about our day. So you make an ordinary thing something really lovely and fun. Now, you might also want someone who is really sporty. You might like someone who rides bikes and you really love hiking. So you want someone who's a bit of an adventurer, someone who's active. So you go, okay, that's something I'm going to get clear about. I want someone who loves to move, loves to enjoy going out, fresh air, nature, or someone who likes to go, you know, to a fair and do the rides or someone that loves to go and play mini golf or someone that loves to go and look at the stars, lay on a rug at night with telescopes and we look at the stars together. So get clear about the things you'd like to do. You might also want someone who has a certain dress sense, like you might love, you know, a man in a suit. And you might love a guy who, you know, is a sheep shearer, in the outback you might love someone who you know works with animals and is really great with his hands great at building great at uh, assembling things ikea furniture things like that so that might be something that you value so it's writing down your list and making it about lifestyle things about character traits someone perhaps that's good with their family you love how they treat their nieces and nephews their brothers and sisters someone who has respect and is giving in the family and someone who still balances having time for themselves so they're not an overgiver, but they also know how to give and they're not self-centered so and you might also like somebody who loves to travel Now, if that's something that you enjoy, you might want to write down some of the places you'd like to go and that can be something that you would like to do in this new relationship. Write down the places you've always been interested in and say, I'm happy and grateful now that my brand new relationship has a desire to travel to some of these places. doesn't mean you have to go to every single place together, but that you have that in common. So number two... You're going to use some of these things in your imaginal scene. So if you put your pen down and you close your eyes and you say, okay, I'm going to pick three things off my list and you're just going to run through them on a loop. So let's say I'm going to pick three things from what I just said here. Someone who travels, someone who loves to go hiking and someone who really loves to wear a suit let's say for example so you imagine seeing the person for a dinner date they walk towards you they're wearing a really nice suit it's really beautifully tailored it's nice quality they look really handsome and that really really creates that wonderful chemistry and you love seeing a a sharp dressed man as ZZ Top says (laughs) in the song And you might consider imagining in your loop that you're laying on a lovely deck chair in the Bahamas with this person next to you. They're snoozing on the deck chair and you are sipping a lovely tropical drink and you put it down and you go and put your feet in the water and then they come up behind you. And put their arms around you and give you a kiss on the back of the neck. 
So you do the suit, you do the travel to a, one of the particular places and you might do the cooking scene where you've set the table, you've lit the candles and maybe they're cooking that night and you are so grateful with the smell of the food because it's your favourite meal and they're making this for you and you're going to share a beautiful night, just a regular, ordinary night after work and enjoying sharing about each other's day. Now, number three, gratitude. So you're going to look at what you wrote in number one, what you got clear about, and you write... Or you can say it as an audio, I'm happy and grateful now that, or I'm grateful now that, or I appreciate. And you might say that I have a brand new relationship where we travel together too. I love that this person loves to eat well, has a healthy lifestyle and loves to cook. Wow, it's so nice to be in a relationship where the two of us cook. It shares the load and they make lovely meals that I've never thought of and they really enjoy what I cook too, okay? So you do your gratitude off your information from the clarity in question one. Then, number four, you say, oh, I surrender, I let go, and I trust. And you breathe in. I surrender, I let go, and I trust. I surrender, I let go, and I trust. And you just, if you want, see a little cane basket, put the brand new relationship up there and say, God, source, universe, whatever word you prefer, I hand this over to you. The how is up to you and the when is up to you. And that's nice and simple to just let it go, round it off, and you just... Know that you've done enough for today. Okay, so hopefully that helps a little bit. Just a short little process. And I will continue with this little series. The next part will be for dream work. And then I will also do for money, another part, and then for health. So lots of love, everyone. And happy manifesting. Lots of love.